Guys here everybody with another down and dirty guide to Daisy. Just as a quick note, the Daisy version of Lingor Island is not supported by the Daisy development team, nor do they like it, so don't post them in the forums or you will get banned from the forums. So go ahead and open up your favorite web browser and go to the first link which is in the description, which is the icebreaker.info website. Now there's a couple other websites like Armaholic and whatnot, but I found that Armaholic is kind of slow to download from, and this site gives you a couple other links to download Lingor Island from. So just go ahead and scroll down on the site a little bit and you'll see the four different links. And I used phoenixsoldiers.com. And just so you know, it is a 413 megabyte download, so it will take you a little while to download. So while it's downloading, let's go ahead and open up the other link in the description, which is daisylingor.tk. And let's go ahead and scroll down, and you will see that this site is in Russian, but the links that you need are right on the main page with slash link slash mirror, and you can download from any of these. Let's go ahead and download that file. And after you've downloaded it, you can go ahead and close the Internet Explorer window. And what you want to open now is your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead folder. And we're going to create a new folder and call it at L-I-N-G-O-R or at Lingor. So after that's created, let's go ahead and open it up. And we're going to create another new folder and call it add-ons. So go ahead and open up the folder that you downloaded the files to. And the first thing that we're going to open is the 400 megabyte file, which is the Lingor underscore V14 file. In my case, there already is a at Lingor and add-ons folder within this file. We could have simply just clicked and dragged the at Lingor folder from the file, but I'm sure there's some at Lingor files that don't have this structure, so we're going to just do it the whole manual way. So let's go ahead and open up the add-ons folder that we created earlier in Steam, and then let's go ahead and open up the add-ons folder that's in the compressed file. And while we're here, we're going to select all the files and click and drag them over into Steam and let them uncompress. Once they've uncompressed, all the files will be transferred over, and you want to go ahead and delete the ibr underscore plants dot pbo file. Now I'm not quite sure why you have to delete this. If somebody knows, just tell me and I'll add it to the description. But all the research I've done says that you do have to delete this one file. So once that's deleted, let's go back to our main Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder. And back in our downloads folder, we're going to open up the daisy underscore lingor compressed file. And once that's open, we're going to select all the folders inside this file. And we're going to click and drag them onto our main Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead folder. Now whatever you do, don't try to place them on the batch files, because if you do, weird things are going to happen. And you're going to let those files uncompress as well. Now while the files are uncompressing, I just want to mention that you do have to be on the latest version of the beta for Arma 2, just like you would for normal Daisy. So once those files are uncompressed, you are going to be asked if you want to merge and copy files over and just hit yes. You know, here again, we're getting prompted. Let's hit yes again and move and replace. You know, let's just do this for all the conflicts and you should be good with copying files over. So that basically completes all the file transfers that you're going to need to do. So let's go ahead and close all these windows. And now what we're going to do is set some parameters. Now you might be able to do this in six launcher and other launcher applications, but I haven't had a chance to test them. So if somebody has done that before, just leave a comment below and I'll add it to the description. So in steam, let's go ahead and right click Arma 2 operation arrowhead and go down to properties. Then we're going to click set launch options and we're going to modify the dash mod at day Zeke parameter. So let's change that parameter to at Lingor. And then we're going to hit semicolon and we're going to add another portion to this parameter and call it at daisy underscore Lingor. You'll be able to find this parameter in the description below, but do take note that the order of the parameter has to be exactly what I've shown you. Just as a quick tip, of course, you're not going to be loading the Chernorus map, so we could change our dash world parameter to empty. So let's go ahead and close out of that. And we are now all done with installing Lingor Island. So we can go ahead and double click Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead and start combined operations. And Daisy should load up like normal. As you can see over here, we have Arma 2 and we have Lingor Island and we have all the files and beta and everything loaded. So let's go right into multiplayer and go down to our filter options. And for the mission type, you now want to type in Lingor. I think you can type in Daisy Lingor or whatever, but it's wildcarded, so you can type in Lingor. And most of the servers that you're going to see are probably Daisy Lingor related, not just regular Lingor. And some of the servers might actually be a bit outdated, so you might have to play around with some, but eventually you'll be able to get in and play on Lingor Island. Thanks for watching and see you at San Rulco.